What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy MGSD13. And I'm here to talk schmack, okay? We're gonna talk some schmackity schmack schmack about the worst Assassin's Creed of all time, Assassin's Creed Odyssey slash Origins, while playing the best Assassin's Creed of all time. And hear me out, okay? Pretty sure that's already a call for a lot of y'all to dislike and hate. But in the world am I doing? The citizen has been killed, I don't care. Um just felt like getting on here and talking about a little bit about my opinion on the direction this franchise has gone, how Ubisoft has directed it into the new RPG aspect of it. I just wanna say I hate it, okay? Right from the get-go. I'm gonna say I hate it. I'm a hater, okay? Call me whatever you want. I know it's easy for a lot of people to ask for innovation and change when you got a sequel like this that's released peri periodically, you know, over every year, every two years, you had an Assassin's Creed game coming out. And the same people whining that they want change and innovation, it's the same people also whining when they do change the game that it's not the same, that it's a whole different game. And I'm gonna explain one thing, it's easy to do both. Because as someone who loves gaming, uh, you know, the fan base that fell in love with what Assassin's Creed really was, um, I think it's easy to ask for change and innovation, but you want to see them do it in a way that's not going to destroy what you really love about the game, you know? For example, in my opinion, the way I saw things, right, was this game going in the direction of Ghost of Tsushima. Now, we don't know what the game's like. You know, because obviously it hasn't been released, so we can't say too much about it. But from the gameplay trailer that we saw at E3, we can at least agree that so far from the little bit they've shown us, it looks like a great game, okay? It looks fantastic. Graphics, lighting, combat looks cool, which, like I said, we don't know how it works. It's not released yet. But I'm going to be quick to assume that is going to be a great game. The only thing they gotta get right is they get the gameplay mechanics right because from what we look, the stealth looked amazing too. Um, they just need to get a story right. They need to make that story compelling. They gotta make that character lovable. They gotta make it relatable so that us as the fan base playing that game can connect to it. We can kind of see his motives for doing whatever it is that he's gonna be doing in the game. Because if you look at the first well, not the first, but if you look at the three Assassin's Creed games, you know, with the Ezio Auditore trilogy. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. It's a narrative game. It's a narrative-based action-adventure game. Because you fall in love with who the character is. And a lot of people might even, at the time, would say this was one of their favorite video game characters ever. Just to see him grow and mature along the way. Um, how he used to be young. And how he grew into what he was in this game I think it was just fantastic how they did it that's how you grab a game and you build upon it because if you look at the difference between them you start out with Assassin's Creed 2 and you end up with this with the hook and the graphics and the gameplay animations and the kill chains they just really really outdid themselves with this uh, trilogy again the world are you asking for money boy why aren't you gonna work Stop asking money like a fucking bear! Perro, levantate! Levantate, perro! Mm. Come here, boy, headbutt to the face! It's a medicine, where's the medicine? But when you grab a game, uh, I think I even saw somewhere I read, and it might be wrong because you know you can't trust anything on the internet these days, but I saw somewhere that. They actually developed the crossbow we see him use in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. They had designed it for Assassin's Creed 2. But they deleted it at the game. They deleted it out the game because of historical inaccuracy. Because the years, the setting that Assassin's Creed 2 was set in, there was no crossbows back then. And then you got a game like Assassin's Creed um, Origins and Odyssey that you can ride around with a flaming horse and a green reaper outfit and fucking unicorn shit and glowing fucking spacesuits and and, and and walk around with a trident and just kill people that that's insane man that's not assassin's creed i don't care what you say 
that's not Assassin's Creed, okay? They should have changed the name to it if they were going to go in that direction. Call it the Witcher 3 Ubisoft version. Because that's an injustice. That's almost like blasphemy, you know? Trip this bitch. Don't get near me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Shh. Hmm. Fuck you. Try, boy. Mm, step to the chest. That's so satisfying. And you're acting all crazy, so I just. Ah. So I think. I think I've lost hope in the direction this game will ever take place. You know, I've, I don't think it's ever gonna go back to its original gameplay mechanic. I think it's they're going they're doing well in sales and apparently they found a new fan base and maybe even the old fan base like the new games but not me okay I don't think it does justice to what it used to be about honestly this game right here Revelations was the last Assassin's Creed game I enjoyed because Assassin's Creed 3 the Indian boy can you remember his name oh my god I hated that game but I'm not gonna get into that piece of shit just because it's, it's Pretty much just talking shit about Odyssey and Origins, is, you know, mechanics, the RPG mechanics. And, and I did play uh, Origins for a good while, I actually got to like level 70 or 80 or something like that. And at one point I was like, man, this is boring. Like, I'm out here doing the same shit, little quests and shit, like a fucking dumbass rescuing people from alligators and shit. Like, fuck no, man, let him die and let the alligator eat his ass. And. That's really, you know, what it comes down to. You can agree, disagree. Let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to end this video on a note with a very unpopular opinion. And it's that. And this, you know, kind of off topic, but I just actually posted about this. Ghost Recon Breakpoint announcement. Man, that shit looks cool. I hope it's kind of like a uh, Ghost Recon um, Wildlands. Because I love that game. I enjoy that game from beginning to end, every second of it. I've had been wanting a game like that for the longest. And honestly, I understand a lot of people were let down by the uh, by the um, downgrading graphics and maybe all the gameplay mechanics they showed, and it didn't end up in the game. That's cool. I get it. You know, we all hate downgrades. We all hate lies. We all hate false promises. But I love that game, so I hope Breakpoint builds upon their mistakes and fixes everything that they did wrong with Wildlands and just makes an even more badass, bigger game. Because the only thing I would say about Wildlands is it was kind of empty, like the map, like it was huge, but it was... Wow, that was cool. You saw that shit? That was gonna fall out of the map. But let's hope they build upon it. Um, and yeah, I think I'm pretty excited about that. I'm gonna get into it more in depth in another video once they release more details and yep this has been talking schmack okay we talk a little bit schmack about odyssey origins fuck them games long live Ezio Auditore da Firenze MGSD13 signing out